Hi friends, so let's begin with the part one. I'm just logging into server which we are going to configure as DNS server. I will log in as user root. Okay, we are on the server now. Let's check uh, IP configuration which I have already done. It got two interfaces, it's zero and uh, it's one. On it's zero, if you see, I have used IP 90.10.10.20, which I discussed in setup detail section. And uh, ignore this IP. This is a IP which I'm using for uh, uh, my as a broadband connection. Uh, I have just configured this interface so that I can download the packages from uh, internet. Okay. So first thing which we make to show that we are using a static IP for your uh, DNS interface. As in this example, it's zero is my primary interface. I will just grab keyword boot proto. If you see it is set to none, it means it is not using DHCP. None or static, this means uh, they are not DHCP. So uh, that is the first thing. And uh, as second thing, I have to make sure I have local hosts entry for uh, my server. 90.10.10.20 this is IP and uh, this is the fully qualified domain name FQDN in short you can say master.opensky.home and this is the alias master so that part is done so let's do next step so on this setup I have kept SE Linux disabled it, you can keep it permissive or targeted but targeted uh, makes lot of uh, configuration so I have uh, because this is lab setup I have kept it disabled or you can uh, use as permissive so you need to do some further configurations okay in our repository uh, as I said I'm going to use a CentOS repository let me show you which I'm using yum repo list if you see I'm using CentOS live repository which I shown you the it one I'm using broadband IP to communicate uh, with the all the servers configuration so let's see whether bind is already installed or not I'm just prepping for bind in RPM database if you see it already listing uh, there are four bind packages but ignore these these are only DNS client bind packages to install DNS server we need to install bind and bind util bind is basically the dns con dns server package and bind util it is set of utilities utilities which uh, example we can use uh, syntax checking using bind utilities package so i'm just installing so that uh, i can perform the syntax checking okay so i will use switch minus y so it will install dependencies it will not ask me questions So installation is going on now. It is downloading the package and uh, later it will install the packages. That's uh, easy. Okay, packages are installed. Uh, let's verify whether the packages are installed properly or not. RPM minus QA bind. Okay, if you see, this is the package bind 9.9. .9. So we got uh, bind version 9.9.4.29 on uh, this particular server. And these are the bind util packages installed. Okay, that's good. So as next step, we will enable DNS IP to accept the DNS request. Okay, for DNS server, the main configuration file is etc named.conf. Okay, so this file is owned by a root user and its group is named. So let's modify this file so that uh, the purpose to modify this file is to uh, make sure DNS IP is accepting request from outer world. So I'm just doing VI to this file. Let me use Vim so it will be easily understandable to you. Okay. If you see here, currently listen on port. So it is listening on port 53, but it's, it is only listening on loopback IP address. So I will add it, control I. 90.10.10.20 so what it means it will listen on port uh, 
53 with IP 90.10.10.20 along with local host or loopback IP. So a low query, what a low query mean? Which client can uh, query using this DNS server? So here I have to, I will modif remove it from local host to any. Any mean any client can uh, make a query using this DNS server. Okay, that is done. Let me save it. Okay, so for verification, uh, I will do one thing. I will grab the keywords which I just modified. Let me clear screen so you can easily judge. Okay, I'm grabbing listen on port 53 from this configuration file. So now it is showing 90.10.10.20. Yeah, that's good. Then I will see whether the grow query, allow query that is properly updated or not. Yep, it is any, so it means it's good. Okay, so on Red Hat 7, we are using system CTL. On Red Hat 6, we were using services. So only difference uh, is uh, we will be using system CTL commands. So let me enable this named service or if you want to see what is the current status of this service system CTL status name dot service currently if you see it's loaded but it is inactive so let's start the service so simple I will replace status with start or oh, basically I have to enable it I believe okay let's enable this service yeah it's enabled if you see it created a symbolic link so when first time you enable service, it uh, performs the basic configuration, which is which is linking the uh, init files uh, to the system CTL configuration. Okay, so the service is enabled. Let's start it. Why I'm going to start? Because I want to make sure the configuration changes which I just made, uh, they are not causing an issue. Okay, so it started. Uh, one thing I can check the error code or uh, return code. If you see it is zero, it means it worked fine. But I can run uh, again status command to make sure it is running. If you see service is active and it is running. So it means uh, configuration changes which I just made they were accepted by uh, system CTO and the DNS configuration. Okay, so this part is done. Okay, next thing as I just enabled 90.10.10.20 to accept request on port 53 to make sure whether it is working or not I will use netstat command I'm using switch antu which is to display which service what protocol what IP and uh, the state so I'm just grabbing for port 53 which is our DNS port if you see uh, here 90.10.10.20 it is accepting it is listening on port 53 it means it is it can accept uh, the incoming request on this particular port so that was the purpose uh, uh, which i just made the configuration changes so this change is working it mean so netstat uh, basically i use netstat you can use different protocol okay so this is uh, the basic configuration is done now i have to enable the firewall settings for enable firewall settings uh, like uh, Red Hat 6 it was using IP tables or usually people keep IP tables off. In my Red Hat 7 setup I got uh, firewall CMD which is the, which is the tool uh, to configure firewall uh, configuration. If you see uh, I have just used I am going to use command firewall CMD minus minus zone is public public mean anyone minus minus add port 53 on TCP permanent so I'm going to use add a rule on port 53 anyone can uh, send request or the server will accept connection okay enter it is telling success it mean uh, it added this configuration and I'm going to do UDP because DNS server basically can accept request on TCP as well as UDP so I am adding second uh, uh, similar configuration for UDP protocol okay it's added now the main thing which I have to do I have to reload the firewall rules so that's a command firewall dash cmd dash dash reload okay 
if you see uh, the message is success it mean uh, the rules the changes which i just made they are working to test the changes whether they are working properly or not uh, we can use nmap so the beauty of nmap tool is that it can test both tcp or udp connectivity with telnet which traditionally all system admins are using they got uh, limitation it can't test udp connectivity so always use an nmap if you see nmap is not installed let me check which nmap okay nmap is not installed no issue i'm connecting connected to internet i will install it right away yum install minus y nmap enter that's a small package only a couple of kbs it will be installed quickly okay okay good so nmap is installed let's check which nmap cool nmap is installed so first we will check tcp connectivity on our dns uh, port to do that nmap minus p minus p is for port number port 53 then your dns server ip enter so if you see the result it is saying port 53 if you see this bit port 53 tcp state is open so it mean it is open and it is uh, accepting all the requests so network connectivity is fine on port port 53 for tcp protocol okay let's test for udp also so same command only difference here my i have added minus su u is for udp enter if you see same status only difference it's udp state open cool udp is also working and uh, here tcp was working which we already validated it mean our network connectivity is good okay friends so this was part 1 and uh, we will jump to part 2 uh, make sure like you understand the basic configuration which we just did and in part 2 we will configure the dns server and uh, you can uh, i have added that part 2 in different video second video so you can just search with part 2 thank you mates and uh, See you soon we will discuss uh, other things in part 2 thanks a lot